there are two stories, my story and the fabulous story. My story is that I started the, the developing, researching and designing how to work with online communities to make them collaborate online using open source and peer-to-peer -peer practices. And I use design for doing that, so using design for replicating open source communities. And of course, one of these applications is on open design, so having open source principle in design. And Fabulous are one of the best places for doing that because you actually have a place where you can transform in something physical in an object, but we've been working digitally and collaborated online in a digital format. In 2009, I was invited to a conference here as a keynote speaker, and then that's why I basically I went into contact with this university. And then in, at the beginning of 2011, I, I came here and started doing research. So I've been working in developing the Fab Lab. I'm also working in organizing the Open Knowledge Festival. I'm also lecturing digital fabrication for the students. So all these things are going on and taking place here. One is the Fab Lab should be open to the public. Here it's open during the Tuesday usually. It's open to anybody. Then another thing that's important that you should share the same processes and tools with other Fab Labs. So we have visited Fab Lab in Amsterdam, in Barcelona, and in Manchester to learn what they were doing and to basically learn from them. On one side, the maker movement has been always active. I mean, people are always able to manufacture things on their own because until the 50s or the 60s, normally people were, work, were living outside of big cities. So they were used to have their workshop and working on their things. And now we have a lot of, course, of people working with electronics or digital arts and digital medium. And these things are mixing, so we have more modern makers, let's say, they were basically working with hands, but also with digital uh, medium. This is done with the temperature uh, of Helsinki. This is a visualization of that. This is a visualization of the sun data over Helsinki in one year. So this is about all the sun that is coming to Helsinki in one year. This again is another 3D visualization of wind data. This has been since emailed. And about open source, at least what the students are doing in the courses about digital fabrication, they're releasing at open source because they work together in the same place at the same time. So it's also very difficult that you can uh, make this sec a secret because they're working on the same things. They can uh, share with, with each other so they can know what each other is doing. So they can also help each other. So that's also the principle in the Fab Lab. A maker movement can enable people to uh, adjust and fix their broken things. On one side, it was com is possible a way for having more localized production. One thing that is very important, they can enable people to actually learn a lot about developing their own things. And when you learn how to develop and make something physical, then you understand how much does it take to develop it, a product. Why to come to the Maker Faire room for people that will come? It's absolutely, for sure, the, the biggest Maker Faire in Europe. So you don't have to travel to USA to really visit the Maker Faire. And it will be a place where you can meet people from all the other places of Europe. That's a very good moment where you can discover more uh, projects, more uh, approaches to different projects, and also to know and meet more people which we, with which you can collaborate in the future. These moments are really important for learning more from other people and building things for the future. Mm -hmm.